Hello everyone, the subject of this video is troubleshooting for OFL of weight indicator. The problem of OFL contains four situations, weight overflow, weight underflow, and a signal of load cell too low or too high. There are four reasons that can trigger OFL. First, indicator parameter setup error. Second, external wiring error. Third, load cell damage. Fourth, indicator hardware damage. The equipment used in this video now will be introduced. A weighing platform with full scale of 20 kilograms. A GM9907 LD weighing indicator. A weight of 2 kg. A straight screwdriver and a digital multimeter with millivolt voltage range. If it's the first time to use the indicator, please collaborate the weight by following the user manual. If the indicator shows any OFL signs after calibration, then we can continue the following check. First, indicator parameter setup error check. As we can see, there are nothing on the weighing platform, and the weight on indicator shows zero. Now, putting this 2 kg's weight on platform, we can see the indicator shows over full scale. In this situation, we need to press manual button Find calibration and press setting on the screen. Input the password, then enter. After that, switch to zero calibration. Slightly press the wing platform. The value of load cell voltage is fluctuated, which means load cell is working well. But the weight still shows over full scale. So we need to move to weighing parameter and check the value of full scale. Here, in this indicator, the full scale is 1 kg, which is lower than 2 kg's weight. So we should set the full scale value to 16 kg, which is 80% of the weight range of weighing platform. Then return to the interface of zero calibration, and we can see the weight returns to normal showing 2 kg. Thus, we can see the reason causing OFL is full scale setup error. Second, external wiring error check. Make sure there's no error in parameter setting, but we still can see load cell input enter on the screen. So we need to enter the zero calibration interface. Meanwhile, press the wing platform. Both value of weight and load cell voltage still show improperly. In this situation, we need to check the external wiring by following the user manual. After repairing the error wires, we can find the weight and load cell voltage shows correctly. A slightly press the weighing platform, we can see the value of weight and load cell voltage varying. Therefore, it can be determined that the OFL is caused by an external wiring error. Next, the last two causes check. Load cell damage and indicator hardware damage. After checking the parameter and external wiring, if the indicator still shows load cell input enter, we need to enter the calibration setting. Input the password and press enter, then choose zero calibration. Slightly press the weighing platform. The voltage value still shows load cell input enter. So we need to check the indicator's wiring. Pull out the terminal from indicator. Set the multimeter to voltage function and measure the voltage of EX plus and EX minus. If the voltage cannot be measured, the indicator hardware was damaged. From the multimeter, we can see 4.9874 volt. That means there's no problem about indicator hardware. So we remove the wires of ISIG plus and ISIG minus from the terminal. and change multimeter to millivolt function. If the voltage cannot be measured, the load cell is damaged. As we can see, the multimeter has no proper millivolt display, so we can determine the external load cell is damaged. Measure the voltage of ISIG plus and ISIG minus. We can read 0.012 millivolt from the multimeter which proves the load cell is working. Insert ISIG plus and ISIG minus into the terminal and fix by the straight screwdriver.
then insert back to the indicator. Slightly press the weighing platform. The value of load cell voltage is still load cell input ender. At this point, indicator hardware damage can be determined.